Well, hello, hello, everyone. Flagging again, and we're back. I decided we'll use the model today, VTuber hair. Because <clears throat> I think now that we've solved the issue of seven days lagging, maybe we can use it with seven days. But before we get into seven days, there is something that I would like to show you all. And that is the game I've been working on. You might recall uh, I did a video on YouTube a while ago saying that I created a game called War of Belrook. Currently on Steam, you can find it there. I think it's like $3.99 for it. And it's just a very simple text-based game, like a choose-your-own-adventure thing. But I wanted to make another one. That was kind of like a starting point to like show myself that I could make a game, right? But I wanted to make an actual interactive game where you could control a character and do things. And so I set out to learn how to do that. And this is what I've got so far. So let's go ahead and switch on over. And let me tell you, it's very basic. Graphics aren't all that great. The like stuff's kind of clunky, as you'll see. But it's what I've got so far. Only been uh, about a week since I started messing around with it. So anyway, let's go over to that. And as you can see here, we have the uh, the game here, and this is in Unity. Let me actually over here real quick. I need to hit the play button. All right. So if we Hit play. Oh, it's freaking out. Maybe it doesn't like that. Never mind, I guess I can't show you it. Look at this. Hmm, flashing. Mm, that's great. But anyway, um, if you can see it between the flashes here, because it's trying to show... What if I just put it here? Not there. I just, like, go over here. Now let's throw it on to here again. Now this works a little bit better now. Let me stop it and we'll hit play again. All right. So here it is. I'm a little slime, as you can see. And I can move around and I fire. I have a bar at the top that's just black because it's empty. And as you can see, I have a level and the cores listed up there. I'm shooting a projectile and you can see there's like white little slash that comes out near me. And what that is, is that is a, a melee attack. So if I get close to this enemy, I'm shooting with the, uh, the projectile, and then I'm hitting him. He dies, and he drops this, uh, this core, which gives you a little bit of experience. So as you can see, the experience bar at the top here fills up because of that. Now, the experience doesn't do anything, and as you can see, I have my health down here that's been just filling up, or going down if he touches me. And the enemies will respawn out around the character here. So you can see, I have a set to be quite low. And so I'll just attack another one, but if I point myself this way so I don't get, you can see the health going down and whatnot. And it'll, it'll follow me anywhere. I'm in the character a little bit faster. Oh. Um, I don't know why it just went black, but it did. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, that, that's about it. It's, it's basically a... Uh, if you've played the game or seen the game, Vampire Survivor. Um, I wanted to make a game kind of like that because it seemed pretty straightforward and simple to do. Right? Um, it wasn't anything too complicated where I would have to like plan a level too vastly and whatnot, or make like dialogue and complicated things. I just have to basically make a character who has attacks and enemies who want to pursue and attack these attacks. So I basically have that down. I just want to add some more stuff and add some of my personal flair on there. I don't want to get too into what I'm going to be doing to uh, make it a kind of unique game so it's not just like a, a rip off of, you know, the. Vampire Survivor kind of thing. I don't even know what genre that would be. Is it a, kind of like a, a roguelite survival? Because there's elements where you like upgrade as you gain materials, right? So anyway, it's going to be a roguelite kind of game where you play as a slime who uh, tries to survive against other monsters and stuff like that. Kind of any cool. Don't know when it's going to be out. Like I said, very early access. I don't even know if that's going to be the final art. I don't know if I'm going to do it myself because that's all me doing pixel art right there. And... Uh, not very great, as you can tell, right? But uh, I don't know if I'll hire an artist or if I'll just get better at pixel art at some point and make it myself. But I definitely want to change the background. I just used something that characters can stand out on. It's just a simple blue one. And uh, it's kind of a nine by nine map right now with squares. Squares move as you move around it. So it like repeats the level. 
which is cool. But I want to add like grass textures or path textures and stuff like that around. So it actually has like a background so you can actually see yourself moving. It's just a blue screen and there's nothing on the screen that's moving. Um, and you're centered and it's always centered. It's hard to tell if you're moving, right? It's kind of weird. There's also drops and there's treasure chests and stuff like that that I've been working on. So uh, it's going to be cool. I like it so far. But definitely needs a lot more polish. I just kind of wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of that little thing that I'm working on. But anyway, why don't we get to the game and start playing Seven Days to Die? Uh, yeah, I just thought it was cool to be kind of working on that in my spare time. Although with playing Seven Days to Die, I kind of have been uh, focusing on playing Seven Days rather than playing, or not playing, rather than coding the game. Made in Unity, all that good stuff. Let's continue. Fun fact, originally, instead of a slime, I was gonna have it be my uh, VTuber model, plugin. But, after trying to make a pixelized pixel art, figure of me, found out pretty quickly that I was not skilled enough to do that much detail. And so I very quickly scrapped it and went with a slime to make things easier. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. Here we are the day after the horde happened. Remember correctly, we have this AP ammunition, and we level up. We did level up. I forgot. I have to spend this point. So, let us spend the point. See how that goes. So, we were leveling up agility, right? And we maxed it out to five, because otherwise it's going to take two points to level everything up. And we could get stuff like Hidden Strike and Lurker to make me sneak around a lot quicker, stuff like that. We could also get Light Armor, so I could start getting to the point where I could make... Um, good quality leather and military gear. Um, I did find out that Flirty of Blows does work with your bats, so that's very nice. It also even says it applies to clubs. I don't know why I was like even looking it up on Google. We also have Gunslinger we can get, which would make our handguns do a lot more damage. Fire faster, do more damage, and reload even quicker. And you know, I think I kind of want to get this one. Let's go ahead and buy that. So since we're going to be out doing a little bit of a journey, I think that would be very good for us to do. Speaking of journey, let's go ahead and top off our food and water here. Just so we are you know, pretty good. All right. all right, all that is assembled there. And do keep in mind, we have our uh, upgraded pistol here. Beautiful, and we're carrying AP rounds. Alright, so, our base, we finished repairing it and everything, so that's great. We just <clears throat> haven't really figured out what to do with this, other than putting a drawbridge across here, which we're making, but I'm not sure if it's going to last long or what. <coughs> I was like, where's my truck? And I forgot. I put it inside. Yes, alright. So, if we look at the truck real quick, we have extra gas... We have food, water, uh, medicines, antibiotics, everything that we could possibly need here. Uh, and a bunch, I mean a bunch, of dupe tokens to uh, spend if we need to have the traders. So let's go ahead and head out. We're going to go ahead and stop by our buddy up here. And see what he has to say. Ooh. I wonder why that car is still there. I feel like I would have wrenched that car a while ago, right? When I was looking for engines, huh? Did I miss that one? Anyway. <clears throat> I wonder if you can color it. I think there's dye, right? So I'm pretty sure you can. If I find some dye, I might see if I can use it on the car. I know we've seen dye before, but Alright. 
But the game doesn't seem to be lagging at all while we're using the model, so I think we're good. Let's go ahead and pull over here. Let's go ahead and stop by and see what quests we can get from here. All prices are fair here. Got any special jobs? Opening trade routes. Wow. I have a task for you, friend. Thank the you. Wash, okay. I bet you wouldn't do this. What jobs you got? In the wasteland. Night only. Restore power. Way to the west. Okay. So I don't want that one. I'm, I want to take this clear you zombie you one. Can help me? Well, I can't thank you enough. Really. What do you have on you? Sir? Anything interesting? Art of mining three. Harvest more from all the with a mining pick or stone when buzzed on copy. Uh, okay. I don't think I have that. There's also Night Stalker one. Fimer's Fireman's Almanac number seven. Three one seven. Let's check those out. Real travel, quick. Survivor. This one was seven, which I already got. Art of mining was three. Already know that. And then Night Stalker. Oh, we don't know that one. How much was that? Night Stalker was one hundred and one thousand five hundred, huh? The Hunter mod. For damage against enemies or animals. Anything else you're selling while I'm looking? Doesn't look like it. Alright, I'll be back with some uh I was about to call them caps, but tokens, coins, or whatever you want to call them. Fuel a little bit more there. Alright, let's get this Night Stalker book. That'll uh, come in handy. All right, Night Stalker. Bye. Um, there is actually one thing I wanted to check quick. Here. No. I want to see if I can find a silencer. Because if I can, I would like to put it on the uh, the right. All right, we got the Night Stalker book. Now, where did that airdrop fall? Down there, all right. You know what, let's go to that airdrop. That's gonna be kind of on our way anyway. Let's see what goodies we get. Maybe we'll get some books. Now that we have a four x four truck, I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident in our abilities to survive. Even if we're away from home for a while, and it's a perfect time to go away from home. We are just after the Horde night. So we can definitely search out a lot of the map, which is the plan today. As, uh, yeah. Another journey's end cavern. <laughs> we got here? Melee Mods Bundle. Open. We have a Tempered Blade. Can I modify this anymore? Can I put that on? Nope. So those don't really matter. Let's go ahead and scrap those. Scrap that, and then I'm going to let Grandpa the Moon shine. So yeah, if we look at the map, right here, we can see that we have quite a bit of we know there's radiation down here, so we can't get any further that way or to the right there. So pretty much that is the border. Um, I'm guessing right here would be the edge for this one. But there's so much to the west that we have not really searched. And there's so many more other towns over there and whatnot. I'll head towards this trader, Trader Jen. See if she has any good loot, because the traders do have different uh, loot tables. And then we should be able to get our other quest done, because it's be nearby this area, roughly. Nice that the opening trade routes kind of point you towards... Uh, 
cities and craters and stuff. Even though it doesn't give a lot of experience, that's fine for me. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, man. Oh, yep, I figured. Carefully, I say, as I mess up. Carefully try to get through here. I'm gonna not hold shift. So we can kind of navigate a little bit easier here. I think we can go over the center blocks, but my steel beam is gonna throw us off. Gotta be careful. I think the center blocks also do damage to the cars, so they're not ideal. Bear didn't seem to care about us. That works for me. Let's get in here. Like usual, let's loot her area before we talk to her. Not that we're getting much good stuff right here. Demonstration, you got anything? Not really? We didn't really get much here. Grab those while we're at it. All right. Um, I should probably grab tokens just in case I need them. What's that? Hey there, Jen. Congratulations. I can make my payment to the Duke now. Thank you. All right. So, what do you have? You got anything interesting here? Shotgun Messiah, Volume One. Weapon. There. Do you have a shotgun Messiah level have one? Do I know that? I do not. All right, we'll take that. Anything to just give us a nice flat extra damage. Flashlight, the tools, anything else of value here? Steak and potato meal. Damn, that actually looks decent. Damn. You don't have anything else I want, Jen. Thank you gems. so much. Hey, come again. All right. Nice. We got another book. All right. So if you look at the map, it seems to be there was a trader over here, and then a trader down here as well. So I guess we're gonna go south because uh, it looks like there's more of the town to the south, and we'll take a look, see what we uh, have down here. Go. Oh. oh, that was a dog right there. Go ahead and back out. Oh. All right, all right. Got a lot of farmland. Coach over there look like. There's a savage country here and a electronic store. I'm gonna look through here. I'm not gonna do much unless we see something that's really interesting. Try to loot. Bookstore over there. We might actually hit that up. Eye candy company. You know what? This place looks a little bit interesting, don't it? Can I get through here? Nope. Well, when some, you lose some. But I think we will. If I just park right outside here. Take a look inside here, shall we? Take shelter from the rain. Thank <laughs> you. 
number of ferals there. Back's clear. Oh, that's a radiation zombie. Okay. Just, uh... Yep. That crawler still... That one crawler is still alive. guy was still alive? Nope, he's dead. Okay. That was intense. We used up quite a few bullets there. Got a lot of uh, health. Well, we'll use one of our bandages. Luckily, we're in a Poppin' Pills corporate, so maybe we'll actually find something of value in here. Heal ourselves with. Oh. Well, that's less than great. What is that? I don't know what the hell that is, but, uh... Not great. Got a bird out there screeching. Elevator shaft is empty. Yep. Close, that's close, that's close. Hey, lady, let's go. I guess we're going upstairs. A lot of executives. A spider monkey in there. Fine. Oh, okay, bye. Do that sign quick. Easy. All right. Let's move. There's some mushroom spores down there. Lock the door up here. They're here. I think. That's just a, yeah, right. Really. Definitely wants in. Oh, she wants in too, huh? Yep. 
let's head down here. The stairs are secured. Where'd he come from? Oh, from right there. No? Yep. I'll load up again. Real quick, let's go ahead and put that into... Um, from the shadows, so we can move a little bit faster when sneaking. And we'll also be a little more muffled and be able to hide. I'm going to go over here and shoot this gal. Go! And we'll be pretty secure here for right now. I'm getting injured, and it's not good. Uh oh. I don't know what that does, but uh, it's like a cop, but it creates like a toxic cloud. It didn't injure me though. At least, maybe because I wasn't standing in it exactly. Yeah. Wait, where, where did this dog come from? Why is it dead? Did the poison mist kill the dog too? That's not great. Have an open door there. Let's around here quick. We'll go in there in a moment. First, let's get this chemistry equipment. Just coal, huh? Yep. Some mushrooms we could eat. Let's go in here. Use barrel. Take her out. Use barrel too, though. Let's just close that garage door because there was a bunch in there. Carefully. Oh. Okay, they don't seem to be barrels. I think that one that just dropped down is, though. That's why he got up the ladder so quickly then. Come on. On the ground. Yep. Go ahead and put this down. Wasn't there another zombie here, or did I kill him? I do hear one zombie attacking something. Outside? Um, I have some aloe. Let's use this quick. Heal up as much as we can. Okay. No one's out here. Let's just go up top. down through there, so. All right. I think it's more aloe, though. Let's go ahead and heal up. Of course. Of course. Okay. 
Okay. There's a lot of zombies in here. Maybe I should uh, not be in here right now. I hear running around and it's not... Not okay. I just don't have any doors to run into if uh, I do encounter one. Oh, you can help. down as well, huh? Got him. All right. Oh, gods. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. Oh god, we gotta go. We have to just, just go. Oh my god. Get through here so they can't uh, do that exactly. Got him. There's still a very angry zombie somewhere. Back here, look like it. Clear for now. Here, here, good. Okay, the gas barrels here. For a way to get up. Higher. I don't think there is. I don't see any loot up there, but there could be some. Let's make like 10 frames real quick. Go over here. I don't know if there's a way to get up here, so... <clears throat> really don't want to... ...fall accidentally, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, I can climb up here, that's for sure. Anything up here now? Nope. That was a waste. 
Okay, well. Go ahead and. Oops. Go ahead and continue searching. Nice to finish this place before night falls. Okay, this room's clear. Good to know. Nothing here, though. Somehow. Okay. I need some more medicine. This is that's on the level the bear's currently at. Metal key rack. Ricky bear. Oh my god, there's two bears there. What the hell? to go with your fire. I meant to say that the other way around, have a little fire to go through radiation, but nevertheless, he's dead. No one closes behind me. Just in case those bears get there. I think those are all just normal corpses. Okay. They are not zombies. That's okay. Works for me. Just... Okay. I don't know why this zombie would be down here. Or this dead guy would be down here, that is. Zombie. Well, while we have a second, let's go ahead and sort our inventory because night's just a second away. Make sure we don't get stopped anywhere out there quick. I'm gonna put down the uh I'm gonna take this first aid kit, put it in my hot bar just in case I need to use it immediately. So I'll have it right there. Since we have no more medical supplies anyway. Okay. Uh let's drink some water. We'll use this canned food. Uh, eat that. Up. Okay. I 
as we use some of this food as well. Okay. Oh, from up here, huh? I see these are locked. Oh, I got one way to go. Yeah, of course. They're all ferals. With the door. There's one left. Let's go. Come on, lady. I thought. Okay. Close your mouth. Are you kidding me? I couldn't shoot through that. Well, oops. Fuck, I'm gonna go. Of course, they're all feral too, or runners at least. Uh, that's a couple of boys right there too. Okay, well, we've been better. Take these vitamins because we're uh, fatigued right now. We also have a sprained leg, which is not great. don't want to make this leg worse, so we might just have to take it really, really slow a little bit here. I had something to like put down. Like, if I could put a hash trick right there, that'd be great. Hold this quick. them walk over here shut this door real quick oh i can't shut that one great let's see that Oh, that's a doomed trash, and I was like, why is the trash doomed? What? 
We are not doing well on ammunition right now. It is uh, not a very good time. Come on. Oh, Lord. Why are they all coming down here? I don't get it. There's like no reason for them to come down here right now, but like they're all just, let's go get him, take him out. I'm gonna use the rifle for right now. I can't repair that. They're coming. Why? Where are they coming from? But you're alive? Lady, you need to die right now. Holy crap. <laughs> no! Fuck. I don't know if I have Feral Sense on or not, but maybe it was on by default. I do. This is real bad. Yeah, this is just vanilla. Come on. Okay. Whew. I kind of want to keep going further into here. To, like, find a safer place to be. At the same time, I don't, because if I do, I might get a... Uh... Different both sides here. Really, dude? Where'd you come from? Crap, I thought he fell, not jumped. Hitting me, dude. Well, I made noise. This is so bad. Yeah, I don't know why they're that attracted to me from so far off. I guess we could check. I don't know. Is there a... If I exit... 
can go to here. Is there like a uh, a setting that makes them try to go after you? Like, is there a barrel zombie thing? Barrel zombie. Oh, zombie feral sense is off. So it's uh, it shouldn't be. I don't know why they're coming at me like this. Crazy. Answer your question. But yeah, that's crazy. I, I've never had them come at me like this crazily. It's even weirder because we're below street level and pretty far in, so. This is crazy. We might just have to wait out the night here and kind of hunker down. Keep an eye out for anything that comes at us. It seems like they've stopped for now. Yeah, like I said, it's just completely vanilla settings, like default, with uh, a little bit of extra experience gain, so. Here to abrasion up. Make sure I am out of healing supplies as well, so that's not great. I don't think I searched that crate, so we could potentially maybe search that crate here at some point, but I really do not want to move right now. So we're just going to sit here for at least another three minutes. So that my leg can get healed. Here we have a thing in our weapons here. They definitely stopped, like, coming at me as rough as they were before. I'm not sure if I could even make it out to my vehicle as rough as they're coming at me. Definitely wouldn't have enough stamina to get up the stairs, fight past any zombies, and then go. Yeah, it's pretty chill now. I don't know what was happening. It was like uh, they, they decided to have a horde come into me. I think there was like three or four cops and then a couple of those big ladies who have a lot of health and the big guys who have a lot of health and then I don't know. Although what concerns me is that big that big guy we just killed over here dropped down from somewhere up there. So they I think they went through something upstairs and maybe opened up a new hole. Might as well search this. Maybe I'll find some weird drugs in there or something. Okay. One more minute and then I can feel a little bit safer about moving. I just really don't want this uh, spring to develop into a, a break or to move around and have to run away, hurt the sprain even more and make it even worse for myself. Okay. So far, so good. Oh boy. Well, that's unlocked. We have a door over there. We have that room over there that we kind of cleared, potentially. At least there's not a door there. Okay. It's a real shame I couldn't close that shutter, because if I could have, it would have been a nice way to, like, separate the zombies. But then the cop blew up that one anyway. That's not mattering too much. Okay, well, we have... Oh, and now I'm hungry, too, so let's, let's eat a little bit. Not sure how you can get hungry when uh, you're constantly <laughs> under threat of attack, but... All right, so I don't think we've got time to search this box. Let's search this quick. Here okay, we got some aloe. Up a little bit. Can I open this? I can look in, but I can't do much else there. Hell. 
They're just, they just keep coming down. What is this? The red mark on the compass is a, uh, a cobra or a rattlesnake, whatever you want to call it. I have the perk to help me find animals if you crouch. And it marks them on the compass when that happens. Oh, dang. Burning zombie just fell. I might need to get the hell out of this bio. Just, like, run away real quick. I I'm gonna... Crouch up here. Of course, there was just rotten flesh in there. I can close that door. Yeah, yeah, 100 cents. I think they heard that. Oh, no! Close that door. Close that one, too. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? They just like spawned there. What is this? We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh. What is that hole? That hole wasn't there before. Not that way. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that, that nurse totally just spawned there, didn't she? Oh, my God. That was so intense. I... I don't even know, like, what to think about what just happened in there. Is it because it's the, uh, the Wasteland City biome or something? Not expecting that. Like up until like this town, nothing like this has ever happened so far in this playthrough. So I don't think they changed anything too drastically here, uh, unless it happens in this biome. Because because this is the first time I've been searching around this biome in particular. I think I'm just gonna get out of this biome. It's uh, not worth it. Oh man, the Shaka Messiah here. Bruh. I kind of want to go in there because it's one of the uh, the firing range ones, but I don't have enough ammo, I don't think. Oop. Oh, dang, the bird's really. Ha! Ah! Guess I got a uh, hitchhiker. I think that bird's just knocked down. He's not even dead. The shotgun messiah with the gunsmith there. What's the road out of this town? North? Okay, let's go. I've actually never seen those zombies before, so that's definitely something new that they've added that I've not experienced. The like fleshy jockey looking. Not jockey. Is it jockey? I don't know. Left for dead. Flip around here. Dang. I ain't never coming back to this biome. Ooh. It's a real good thing I got out when I did, because if I were to try to fight that room off, that 
all those other zombies came after me, I would have been to that lot. Like, even clearing the top of that building wasn't as hard, but like, as soon as night fell and I got into the bottom section of that base, like, they all wanted me for some reason. Like, every single zombie in the town decided to come after me, it felt like. Anyway, I think it's this house here. Ooh, maybe. Looks like this house is the, uh, the target. Turn this baby around. Okay. Well, that was very not ideal. Uh, I'm going to use this. Reload while I'm here. All right. Uh, drop that. Go ahead and drop those bones. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna really try to loot this house very much. Let's go ahead and do this. Go. No one in the closet. I'm gonna close that door quick. Up there. We learned a med kit. First, do I know that one? I do not! Oh, perfect! Not that I can make it since I don't really have. I don't think I have the knowledge to do so. Anyway. Ow. That hit. Hungry again. All right. Let's eat a little bit. We're just walking along this edge, huh? Here, and into the window. Well, would have been into the window if I could have landed that correctly. Oh, don't fall, please. Oh, come on, I said don't fall. How oh, very rude. What the heck? Did I place a block inside my head? I did. And now I can't move. Uh, thanks for the follow, Zaza. Well, this is a bad glitch. I just take that one away. Well, that doesn't work. There we go. Yep. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks for stopping by. Have a rest of your night or day or whatever you have right now. Was it? Where are they at? Okay, let's just go. back, thank you. Really? Oh, 
the ceiling like that, huh? Got in here. Nothing? Given a lot of these doctor zombies. Are they a higher tier than usual? I hate these holes. Oh. Well, I guess it was very useful for me to do that, huh? Okay. Pick this lock. Ah, come on. We're almost there. We almost had it. Come on. It's not like I don't have 50 pick locks, but still. Okay, what do we got? Night Stalker Volume 3. Sure. And an even better lever action revolve. Rifle, not well, I was gonna say revolve. Anyway, modify, put that on there, complete. Nice. Alright. What about these bookshelves? You got anything on you, huh? Pumpkin seeds! Finally I learned how to make pumpkin seeds. God yes. Yeah, so. Go back here. Alright. Is that rattlesnake trying to get through the wall? Weirdo. Come on, get up, sir. All right. Rid of him. I do not like how many mannequins that this family seems to have in their uh, house. That was a very great arrow, if you tell me. Please, Louise. Arrow break. It is not. Nice. Three arrow. There we go. Yep, that's clear. I think that's just a corpse. Okay, so they just straight up have a bunker in their house. Yep. Yeah. Alright, has this got anything in it? It has nothing that I need. I'm getting so hungry. God. Crack those. All right. Um. So bright. Okay. Weird. Hold up that. Nothing. All right. Is there anything down here again? Nope. All right. Let's move on. Right is clear. Left is clear.
This place does not look sketchy at all. What in the hell did I stumble across? Excuse me, sir, where'd you come from? Oh, you were hiding right there, huh? Okay. Well, take out the trash. Ow. Through. I knew it. Come on. Down to pop. We got a big shot to cripple all of the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one can hold five rounds. A lot of doctors down there. I understand why there's doctors in this place now. Locked. You're kidding me. I'm just gonna back up and... I still asleep. Zombies hitting. Where am I supposed to go after this? Somewhere specific? I think nowhere else that I could. Huh. I can make that switch and then. Make that switch and then I guess it opens that door? They want to get through there, huh? food a little bit but not a really need get the pumpkins up for now Back here. I hope they didn't have loot in that room. They destroyed. I was aware of it, just not the right area for it. Okay. Hang 
I'm going to ignore that room for right now. I have to go that way, but we'll see. Yep. Where I need to go, so we go way. way back now. in here. Yeah. Up, up. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. I think someone's gonna fall from there. Oh. Someone's just gonna come running out and be like, I'm gonna eat you. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yep. Come on, y'all. Come on. Um, get rid of the cloth. I don't need that. Yep. Those. Thank you very much. And through here, huh? Hmm. I suppose we go through this window then. I didn't even make a noise. Why'd you all wake up? This is ridiculous. drink this. I want this oil or do I want anything else in there? I can get rid of the bottles of water. Ooh, uh, honey, huh? Let's toss. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to sell these. So, Yeah.
Oh, we got a feral and whatever the hell that kind of zombie is up there. Okay. Yeah, there's some sort of trigger right there. As soon as I walked out, we're like, what's going on? Murder him! Lure him back into here. Okay. Don't want to deal with that guy. Thanks, super ferals. Well, it's a good thing you gave me uh, honey and the antibiotics. I'm to find that thing said. Oh, hey guys. Are you ever trying to get through this wall? Let me help. Oh, never mind. Take way too long. I'm gonna need bandages for that abrasion. That's fine. I have to cure the. And the, 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 the infection. That's really all that matters right now. Victory! Easy. Okay. Here's another zombie. Where's she at? Well, I mean, the quest completed, so the only other zombie I should be hearing is ones that are breaking in from the top. So let's dump that, take that, then dump that, take that. Ooh, a lot of ammunition. Uh, get rid of the testosterone and take that. Uh, nothing else I can just like scrap or get rid of. Get rid of that, take that. Get rid of the sand, take the gunpowder. Maybe a lot of loot here, huh? Anything up on this area? This is. What was that? I didn't even touch it. Someone's attacking something here. What is it? Alright, I have money. I can just... money. I need more space. Hold on to it for now. I'm an idiot. I don't hear a dog up there, too. Not a deal. There are supplies. Um, you know, use this bandage. Maybe I can't use it at this time. Use this bandage, then. Okay. Search. Learn. Learn. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Ooh, machine gunner. Fully automatic mode has been increased. Uh, ha wait. Mode has an increased chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Oh. That's cool. Um. That. Gasoline. The only thing left is this lock. We can get the hell out of here. Ah, oh, come on. Working stuff tools, is what this says. Okay, seriously. This one. Really? There we go. All right. Use scrap, scraps. By the way, didn't get anything good from there. All right. Well, I think the way to get out of here is just going up here. 
to prop these and into this window, which uh, doesn't seem to help much, to be honest. Break through this. Everybody uh, on through it. Yo, I'm getting hot here. the exit. Oh, it's not here. Alright, back in the truck. Fuel her up, and let's go. Rock and roll. More quests and such. Man, that was crazy. That uh, whole escapade in the Poppin' Pills facility where there was just zombies coming out of the woodwork trying to get me. I don't even know what the hell I should have done there other than run away. It was like uh, Zaza was saying about the barrel sense where if that's turned on, the ferals can like sense you and like know where you're at. What do you? But never the so it was weird. Especially because it was even normal zombies who were fighting me. Like something drawn them straight to me. Very very sketchy. steel tool parts in there. What? Weird. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put my gasoline in there so I can have room for whatever reward he gives me and then I can just sell him some guns. What do we have now? What do we got? A compound bow yes. five. How's that compared to mine? Wait, mine's better? Is it? Maybe it's because I have... those in it, right? Didn't mean to hit repair, but okay. I'll roll repair it. What do these do? The polymer strings make it quicker. That's plus eight, plus nine to that. Okay. So is that why? You did it. Great job. I guess I'll take this compound though. Why did I drop that, sir? Um, go ahead and take this lever action revolver. And take uh these knuckle parts. Do a club schematic. Safe travels. Compound bow. And a lot of patient out of that. So, oh. other jobs you got, sir? I really don't want to do the restore power. That's two kilometers away. That was only 1.4 kilometers away before. Well, 800 to the southeast. Huh? I think that job one. For someone of your Installation calendar. Red Mesa. Ah. Uh, Godspeed. Sir? Trying to tell me something? I can choke, lever action raffle. Uh, well, 
next time, happy travels, survivor. Go ahead and just head on home. Button. I wanted to put these tokens away and then get back some of that fuel. And then modify these bows. I can just change those. Now use the compound bow. Oh yeah, it draws so much quicker now. Crap that bow, I don't need to sell it or anything. Alright. Facilities one I have to go into next. That's not great. I mean, it's great because there's loot, but that was such a pain to clear the first time. Let's drop off our gear. We'll go to the military base, and we will see if I can loot it first. If I can, then we'll very quickly do that. Very quickly get the hell back out. Okay. Also, our drawbridge can be done by now. All right. Materials. Store all. Except for the wood, thank you. Okay. Just sold that. Dark, whatever. Anyway. Store that. Store that and that and that. Give me a roll of bandages because I need them now. I just all these spear parts. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Ammunition gets stored here. For my new batch of turrets that'll help us next horde night. All of our weapon parts and stuff up here. Ammo materials, there you go. Okay. There, okay. And then stuff to sell, throw that there. Food box, throw this stuff here. Give me the pumpkins, I'll actually make those into seeds real quick. Pumpkin seeds, crap. That, um, let's go ahead and repair our gear real quick, like. How's my armor looking? Not the greatest, to be honest. I think I need leather to repair that stuff, so let's grab all my leather. Take, 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 take. Repair, 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 and just... Okay. That there, alrighty. Come on, we go. Right over to the farm. Go ahead and plant the pumpkin seed there. Oh, I forgot about the bridge. Oh yeah. Go ahead and store the ammunition. I'll take another stack store in the car. Just in case. Let us eat and drink a little bit. I guess mainly just eat since all we have is the uh oiled meat that gives water as well. Be good. Close that. Up and out we go. Alright, now we can place this drawbridge.
there. Oh my God, it works. If we just lift that up and bam. The enemy cannot get in now. Oh yeah, but uh, is it too long? I think it might be a little too long. I wasn't expecting to be this lengthy. I was expecting a little boy. Yeehaw. Okay, let's go. Before it gets too late. It's gonna be Horde Night, def not Horde Night, it's gonna be uh, nighttime, definitely by the time we get over to that base. But... Might as well have some time to clear it before it gets to be night. out front. I'm going to refuel my Jeep. Toss these bullets in there. Make sure everything's reloaded. Okay, okay. All right, before we go in here. Get wrecked, you son of a bitch. Well, let's kill these guys quick. I don't want them to follow me up. Yep. Alright, up here. Direct nerds. Woohoo! You the Kaye? Alright, let's reset it. Yeah, you better run. Dog running around fire over there. Good shit. The greatest heist. Do you know how to break into safes? Do more damage to safes. Okay. Uncover the rarest jewels. Okay. Found a diamond. Pretty poggers. Scrap that. Scrap that. You want some more dog, huh? Yeah? You don't want none of this doggo. Come on. Think before you act. Go ahead and scrap that motor tool thing. Let me use this bandage since I'm a little bit injured. Oops, I'm not in the car. Afraid. Oops, actually, I want to scrap that. Okay. Rock and roll. Oh. Sir, in the hazmat suit, you were not a feral before. I don't know why you decided to become a feral now. So the front's cleared, at least. Hell out of here.
just put did I put the frames in the truck too? I think I did. I meant to hold on to those. I like to put them back where they belonged. All right. Get the high value loot out of here first. Get one of these military zombie types underneath here. Actually, you know what I can just do? This is why I bring the honor. I'm used to just having four rounds, not five. So. Yep. Hostiles have been pacified in the loot room. I have to unlock all this stuff again, though. Fortunate. Beggars can't be choosers. Here, might as well start with the loot room first, and then I can just get the rest later. Or I could clear it from the uh, opposite direction. Rather than going through the dungeon the correct way. Listen here, you. That is all the equipment. Perfect. Think what we got. Scrap that first of all. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Use that. that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Well, I need beakers, but I'll hold on to it for now. I didn't really get anything good out of that either, did I? Let's store this gear in the truck. Real quick. Seven days to die. What do timed charges destroy? Timed charges. Useless bomb ever. 
I know it's supposed to only be used to open six, but come on, the bomb's making 3,000 block damage and you can't destroy nothing with it, even if using it many times. I don't mind the damage radius is one, but it would be an excellent item to destroy some unwanted mega block from your point of interest or base. Dynamite's too dangerous for the job. Time charge is better. Yeah. Mostly just for doors and stuff, huh? You know what? If they're for doors, maybe I'd take them with me. If I can use them against doors as we encounter them going down through here. All right. All right, it's time to begin clearing. When did I take so much damage, by the way? Close that door real quick. Cool. Cool. Let's level up. All right. Agility. This is hiding the shadows more efficiently. Noise from actions are muffled. Sneak movement is faster. And it will search for you for that one. Okay. I'm just going to see if I can maximize this, if I can get in the shadows to be, like, actually useful. That would be nice, right? In cans. I don't think we've ever found anything of value in a vehicle. Other than, like, Maybe like an engine or a battery or something. Like, come on. Come on. Steel helmet, huh? Grab that. Grab that ticket. I'm not even sure where it wants me to go from here. Even when I was doing this before, I couldn't figure out where I was like, yeah, go over here, but... Here... There, uh... There's no ladder here, so I can't get up there, but... I built up there last time, I know. No hidden compartment here. How's it going, Eric? Stop blowing stuff up again. All right, let's see how these work. Do any damage? Oh, they did. Okay. 
the god, time charges might actually be useful. All right. But got him. Yep. Finish clearing over here next. Second floor of that, yeah. Back around here. Any zombies down there I can see? Nope. Okay. Put the letter down there. Pretty sure that these break when you touch them. So. Yep. He's dead. Easy. Nah. Come on. Let me go. Oops. Let's fall. I'm charged. Go! This is bad. Yep. Got him. Yep, he's still alive. Hey lady, I'm down here. Jump, come on, jump. Do a flip. Oh, those are the landmines outside exploding because things are walking on them. That's right. this bandage as well since I'm a little bit under the weather. Okay. Love that. Bye bye. Scrap a of those. Scrap that. And let's rock. Locked. I'm afraid we have to go over this 
Fine, I'll go around. This way. He's the only one in there. Excellent. Let's loot this place real quick. I'm actually kind of hungry, so let's eat this meat stew, which will give us pretty much all the stuff we need back. Excellent. Good to see that my hatch is still back, still there. Oh, I used it. Alright, let's move. Okay. And through here. What we got in here? More food, excellent. Right. Pretty sure that's glass. Try to shoot it. Yep. We're gonna kill him this time though. Go! It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Last time I was here, I'm pretty sure there was a uh, zombie here. Alright. 
Hmm. Almost back. We got two more zombies according to the quest tracker. There's medical supplies. Well, assuming those dots aren't lies, I should really. Yep. Also, that zombie there. Perfect. Do one more, huh? They are up there. Far up there. How did the first door go so well and this one's just taking charges like it's his job? meters above me, huh? Now I got an auger. I wonder if there's actually anything back here. Real far enough back that there's like Yeah. Looks like not. That's too bad. Missed opportunity. Let me just figure out how to get out of here again. Here we go. Okay, so I think I just have to go out of here now and Maybe a ladder. Maybe this here, I guess. Come on. Got it. All right. Nailed it. Easy. I can just go around here. Up here. Still up, huh? Okay. Come on, no! Oh. At least my legs did not get hurt there. That was a hell of a drop. Okay, nailed it. Use this, okay. Go this way. there got it easy done everyone's cleared now hell yeah back up here we got all this loot yep 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 okay let's go yeah all right, 
Took all night, but that worked out for us, so. We're gonna stop by home to drop off our loot. And then when the morning comes, we can figure out how to turn our quest. that and this I'm just gonna use what I can to get my inventory a little bit more in order I don't need this one bone I don't really need any more cloth either I'll hold on to it maybe I need it hold on Balls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to read full slope. Figured it wouldn't be as easy as getting back up there, you know. We'll just have to go through the tunnel. Good job, Turret. You do a good job. Okay. Moving on. Store everything. Oh my god, I hit the sort button. I hate to see it. Food stuff. I think that's all the food. It looks like it. Oh, nope, cornmeal. I have a little bit of cornmeal and coffee beans. It just looks so weird. I write them off usually. Food goes here, that goes there. Lock picks and prepare stuff. Okay. Medical supplies. All right. And then ammunition or ammo material here. Lead there. And the auto we're messing around here. Um, modification. Mod. Bunch of parts. Okay. If I wanted to make a military vest, I need military schematics. Okay. Yep. Um. Okay. Ah. Nice one. Throw those over there. So let's grab Okay. Back of the truck to finish getting the rest of our loot. And let's lower the drawbridge. Oop. I need to have that be the platform. Okay. Okay. Excellent. 
So, eventually, I just got to do this. Move the truck a little bit. Convert these into steps. Let's go with the steps with a fitted railing. Left. I need a uh, Oh, come on. Wait, one, two, three, so four, five, six. I need six more, yeah. I did over by one, but that's okay. And then I need a fitted railing to the right, yeah. Is. One. Right. There. Okay, perfect. That one. Then we'll make normal stairs once again. Ah, come on. There, there. Perfect. We got our stairway. Leading on up to our drawbridge, and now we can get in and out of the base a lot easier. Fortnite, we can just retract that drawbridge up, and everything will be perfect. Okay, pop those in there. Metal materials go there and there. Oh, those two. Okay, then I'm gonna bring along a shovel. I think we have some buried supplies in the next quest areas. Toss those in there and then put a beaker in here, because why not? Let's go ahead and turn that off now. Gun. All you come with me. Okay. Come on. Out of the, out of the hole. All right. Traders open now. But first.
fall. Why did the drawbridge fall too? Are you kidding me? That upsets me. Upsets me so much. <sighs> that took forever to build, too. Nope. Life, I suppose. Get another one started making. Yeah, you think it would be attached to the thing that, uh, you know, when it lifts up, it is attached to, but uh, apparently not. Apparently, it's just gonna die. Wood, forged iron, spring of mechanical parts. If I have enough forged iron, I do not. Of course not. I'm just gonna make 200, I don't care. Okay. While that's cooking, we get our next quest. Ugh. I forgot to put the nail gun away. You know, I'm so used to closing this door, but I don't really need to anymore since the uh, the vault door is always going to be closed. Now, Rod, thunderstorm rolling in. All right, next Horde Knight is 49, right? I believe that is the case. Or... Yeah. My guy was panting and it was annoying me. He was panting because I kind of, I was running and almost out of breath by the time I entered the vehicle, so it kind of got stuck in a loop of doing that. Very annoying. Anyway. Why? Why did that piece of wood just, like, kill me? Going, sir. Ooh, a level five steel club. You know what? I will take that because I'm pretty sure I can use that instead of my current one. So let's go ahead and take that. What jobs you got? I think these are all far away, huh? All of them are to the west as well. I was gonna take them all at the same time. Just like hook me up, brother. You know what I mean? Um, let's go with. This I one, though. Really use some help, Utility friend. waterworks. Okay, maybe next time. Safe travels, friend. Let's see, like, what, which one's one they are. The warehouse three, sure. That one shouldn't be too again. crazy, right? You see your inventory? Let me sell you some goodies. Go. All right. Your stuff refreshes on the 26th. Thank you, Survivor. Uh, Check back soon. Okay. I get new merchandise daily. If I modify this and remove all the gizmos and gadgets, which one's better? Wait, this one's 27 and this one is 30. Okay, so this one's definitely better. Actually, real quick, let's let's test this out. Yep, this 
Steel Club is pretty uh, much the same as the bat. Just a little bit different. Oh no! Because it's tier 5, I can only put that on it. Oh my god. Okay, what do I want? not need on this? Degrades slower. That decreases stamina usage. Really want that one. And then, excessive hits lowers enemy armor rating by 20%. That's pretty good. So I think... Do I really want the fire one? It is nice, but it's not like... Necessary, right? Maybe I just put the fire one on my knife? What? You can't put this on? Oh man! Darn. If, if only I could put this on the knife and have a flaming knife. That would be really cool. And I put it on the sledgehammer. Oh my gods. I have a flaming sledgehammer now. Not that I need it or anything, but... Fine. We'll do that. Okay. Goodbye, bat. You have served me really well. I'm gonna get 500 for you, so that's cool. All right. Refuel our gas truck for those, and I have to store my shovel in the truck for now. Okay. So. We have a ways to go, but I think I'll end things here for today. A little bit of a shorter stream, but you know, I've been working on my game. So, I'm kind of going to do that. But next time, we'll, uh, oh, excuse me, I had to yawn. We'll clear this message, uh, this mission, sorry. And then once we clear it, we'll turn it in, go back home, hopefully get our drawbridge, and then actually be able to craft it. Because we are still making the forged iron, of course. But once we get the forged iron, we can make the drawbridge, which took 20 minutes to make. So we'll probably queue up the drawbridge after that, and then get another quest, do, do the quest, and all that goodness. But yeah, I mean, we don't really have too much we need to do before the next Horde Night. The only thing we absolutely have to do is get to the base before Horde Night begins. Because after that, I mean, we have plenty of ammunition. And even if we didn't have ammunition, our traps would do all the work for us. We saw this Horde Knight. It was quite good. And we think, I think all the walls and stuff should be very, very good now. There should not be any areas that are, like, thin enough that warrants the zombies to attempt to break through them. So, yeah. Anyway, that'll be all for today, everyone. Let's head on out, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye till then.